this for you as well. Those that have joined us from home, the second method is not part of your video that's on Google Classroom, so that's why I'm recording it as well. Okay, so your second method to do general solutions And I'm just going to say without using a calculator. We're very lazy in maths. WUC, without using a calculator. So what if I change this a little bit? So what if I say to you, sine theta is equal to minus um, minus square root three over two. Okay, so all I'm going to focus on is the first quadrant, but now it comes in, the second method comes in, where the sign, this negative, only influences the quadrant I'm looking at. So when I look at my Cartesian plane, I know that sign will be negative, not in one, not in two, either in three or four. Okay, yes, no, okay. So we will only be looking at three or four. Okay, then that negative will fall away. I won't be working with it at all. In quadrant three, What do you know about the reduction formula in quadrant three? It is 180 plus theta. Now theta refers in this case to your reference angle. So quadrant three is that. What do I know about quadrant four? Quadrant four is 360 minus my reference angle. Now I'm going to use only three square root three over two. Now we said sine represents what? O over H. And only focusing on the first quadrant. Where do you find your O value to be square root three? At 60. You see that? So that is at 60. So theta is going to be 180 plus 60. And we're busy with general solutions, right? What must I add? K times 3, 60. So that option is 240 plus K times 360. What am I going to do in quadrant four? Or theta is going to be 360 minus 60 plus k times 360, and that is going to be 300. Now, I'm not a fan of this method. That's just my opinion. Okay, I've done some research. I went onto YouTube and all of this, and the majority of your senior staff teaches this method. I like the previous one. Okay, but I can't just teach you what I like. That's not fair. Alright, so you need to understand, so what is the difference between these two methods? In the first method where I used the, to expand the Cartesian plane, I used the general solutions equations. What do I do when I use the sign to guide me which quadrant I'm using, 
Then I go back to reduction formulas. Must I say it again? The first method, I took whatever was given to me as it is, and I used my knowledge of general solutions. Sign has two options, cos has two options, tan has one option. When I use this method, so I don't use the sign, the negative, as part of my calculation. The sign indicates which quadrant I'm working in. Then I'm not using my general solution structure, those formulas, I'm using my reduction formulas. Yes? No? Okay. So let's see. If I had to use my first method to do this question, so the same question, so sine theta is equal to minus square root 3 over 2. So I know I have O over H. I love my voice. <laughs> so so I, need <laughs> to, I need to find where my O value is negative 3. Where do you see that? At negative 60. Do you see that? Okay. So when I have theta is equal to the inverse of sine minus 3 over 2, I love my voice, I get minus 60, but it's k times 360 and k is part of integers. That's my first one. My second one will be 180 minus minus 60 plus k times 360. And k is part of integers. And a minus and a minus is a plus. So I get 240 plus k times 360. So now you're going to say to me, but ma'am, you didn't get minus 60, you got 300. What did we do previously when I get negative angles? What do I add? Add 360. And what is minus 60 plus 360? 300. Okay. Okay. So it's up to you to decide which method suits you. Okay, I'm going to pause this or stop.